text to speech models have come a long way now we have this parlor tts mini which is a lightweight text to speech model trained on 10.5 thousand hours of audio data this can generate high quality natural sounding speech with features that can be controlled using a simple text prompt for example gender background noise speaking rate pitch and reverberation it is a first release model from the parlor tts project which aims to provide the community with tts training resources and data set pre-processing code this model is based on a very thorough research text to speech models trained on large scale data sets have demonstrated impressive in context learning capabilities and naturalness but control of speaker identity and style in these models typically require conditioning on reference speech recordings limiting creative applications alternatively natural language prompting of speaker identity and style has demonstrated promising results and provides an intuitive method of control but reliance on human label descriptions prevents scaling to large scale data sets this research bridges the gap between these two approaches and the researchers in this architecture as you can see proposing a scalable method for labeling various aspects of speaker identity style and recording condition then they have applied this method to 45000 hour data set which they then used to train a speech language model i will drop the link to this uh, project page in video description and you can read all about it now let's try to install it this text to speech model on our local system and then let's try to play with it let me log into my ubuntu system so this is the ubuntu system i am using i have one gpu card of 16 gb of vram and my memory is 32 gb let me clear my screen let's clone the github repo of this project and install all the prerequisites let's press enter and it is going to take a bit of a time to install everything so let's wait for it to finish It took a bit of a time, but all the prerequisites are now installed. Let's clear the screen and let me launch my Python interpreter where I'm going to install it. So first step, we need to import all the prerequisites libraries. I'm going to import torch and then parlor TTS and also the sound file. That is done. Now let's specify CUDA because I'm I'll be using CUDA as I have one GPU. So I have set that model will be running on the GPU. Let's download the model. So I'm simply using the pre-trained and the size of the tensors are just 2.59 gig. So let's wait for it to finish. Model is almost downloaded. And it will then do the validation and should be done shortly. The model is downloaded now. Let's also get the tokenizer. That will not take too long. That is also done. And now let me specify the prompt and the description. As you can see, our prompt is we are simply putting in, Hey, how are you doing today? And description is a female speaker with a slightly low pitched voice delivers her words quite expressively in a very confined sounding environment with clear audio quality. He speaks very fast so not only we are giving what to speak but how to speak so let's give this input to the model and before giving it to the model let's first tokenize it so you can see that we have put in our input ids here let's also uh, for the description and now let's also tokenize our inputs for the prompt now let's generate the model's output Okay, let's wait okay, so it has given us an error let's see what the error is okay, so i think we are using maybe a deprecated command that is fine let's try another one 
so you can ignore that warning for now and let's generate the audio as you can see here with the numpy and generation.cpu which we have done and we can also write that audio so let's wait for it to finish and then i will play it in the browser so we have written the audio so this is a linux of course so you cannot play it here so let me download it and then um, play it in the browser in my local uh, system with the GUI of course. I have downloaded it and this is my browser. So let me make it bit slightly bigger. There you go. So it's a very small audio clip, wave file. Let's play it. Hey, how are you doing today? Let me play one more time. Hey, how are you doing today? So you, so you see, uh, it has exactly followed our prompt and created this same sentence in a very clear pitched voice, whatever the format we used. And it's a female voice talking very fast. So you can appreciate the quality of this parallel TTS. Now the great thing is that you can use the same commands in Google Colab if you want, or if you have Python installed or maybe Windows subsystem, you can install it um, in your Windows system too. You might have to do some tinkering, but all in all, a real good fine quality model and look at the size. I think just a very, very small size that can be used on, I believe, on edge devices too. And just to give you a few more examples from their project page, you can see that it can also control numerous attributes. For example, if this is a prompt that an American female, um, or maybe let's go with male voice this time. So let's check this one. A male with a Macedonian accent reads a book aloud. The recording is very close sounding but slightly noisy. The voice is quite monotone with a fairly low pitch. So let's check it out their model's voice. At the moment of its departure, the sun suddenly quitted its place in the heavens and disappeared. Now let's check audio box. At the moment of its departure, the you see the difference that this parallel TTS is just in another league. Let's check the ground truth, the actual one. At the moment of its departure, the sun suddenly quitted its place in the heavens and disappeared. Amazing stuff. So there are a lot of examples which you can play from there. And then, for example, uh, you can also control the gender and speaker pitch, which we just saw that very, very fastly speaking and all that stuff. And this is a uh, different sort of things, which it close sounding, slow, uh, low pitched, high pitched, amazing stuff. Also, it does pitch modulation and then speaking rate, lot of things which you can control with just text prompt and description. You can also control um, accent American, English, Pakistani. Let's play this one. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. Okay. So amazing stuff. Let's play this one. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will drop the link to it in video description. Play around it. Let me know how you go. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.